Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, we're going to do a quick proof of the Hellman Feynman theorem in quantum mechanics. So the Hellman Feynman theorem basically states that if the Hamiltonian is a function of some parameter lambda and E of lambda and psi of lambda are its eigenvalues as well as the wave functions. Eigenwave function that is eigenwave function and eigenvalues. Then the derivative of the energy with respect to this parameter lambda is equal to the expectation value of the derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to the parameter lambda. So this is basically the Hellman Feynman theorem or the statement of the Hellman Feynman theorem. And in this tutorial, we're going to going to do a quick derivation of this. So in order to derive it, um, just consider psi of lambda to be the eigenwave functions of the Hamiltonian. Therefore, we can write it as h psi is equal to e of lambda psi lambda. Therefore, these are the eigenenergies or the eigenvalues. So energy, the eigenvalue of the Hamiltonian is basically energy. So that's why I'm using the notation E. And then basically, you can take this psi of lambda over here to write E of lambda as um, psi of lambda. That is the adjoint here. And then H and psi of lambda. And remember that psi of lambda are the normalized eigenfunctions of the Hamiltonian. Now the next step would be to take the derivative of E with respect to this parameter lambda. Then here we will apply the product rule. So we will get um, psi, del psi by del lambda, H psi lambda plus psi of lambda del h by del lambda and psi of lambda and then finally the last term would be psi of lambda h of lambda and del psi by del lambda all right so in the next step, um, what we are going to do is we are going to be utilizing this relation that is when Hamiltonian operates on its eigenfunction psi of lambda, then we get uh, psi of lambda multiplied by the eigenvalue that is the energy. So we are going to plug this relation or this here in this equation. So here we can apply h upon psi of lambda and get e, psi, e lambda times psi lambda and similarly we will apply this equation here by using the adjoint of this equation. So basically you can get uh, from this equation you can get psi of lambda operated upon by Hamiltonian would give psi times E. Right? So we will use these two relations in this term basically. So we will use this relation right here in this term and we will use this relation right here in this term and then we will just plug these values to get um, del e by del lambda equals um, e psi of lambda h I'm sorry um, we have operated h so we will just get psi of lambda here and then plus and this and this term would remain intact as it is del h by del lambda that is psi of lambda and then finally we will um, use this one and we'll plug this right here to get E of lambda psi of lambda psi of lambda so if you ignore this term right here then what you notice is um, you can write 
basically and by I'm sorry I guess I made a mistake and this would be del psi by del lambda and this also would be del psi by del lambda so okay so now coming back um, if you um, look at these two terms then you can write these as e of lambda times um, del by del lambda psi of lambda psi of lambda so you can write these two terms as this and the second term you can keep it as it is and you can use the shorthand notation and write it like del h by del lambda that is as you can notice here it is basically the expectation value of the del h by del lambda term so now since I have already mentioned that the wave functions or the eigenwave functions of the Hamiltonian are normalized therefore this term would equal to 1 and the derivative of 1 would be 0 since it is constant so therefore we would get del e by del lambda equal to the expectation value of the derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to lambda so that's it that is the very short proof of the Hellman Feynman theorem and easy to understand. Another way of proving this would be to use the perturbation theory, the non degenerate perturbation theory, and I might make a video on that too. So you can check out my channel if I do that. I'll make sure to add the link to it in the description down below. And I hope this um, derivation was pretty basic and easy to understand. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.